Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is a Barrel Dreams Wine Barrel Adirondack Chair Building Tutorial. So I'm gonna go over this step by step, and by the end of this video, you should be able to make yourself a chair, kick back, and enjoy the day. Let's get started. There's only a few things you're gonna need to build this chair. You're gonna need a power drill with a pointer that countersinks the screw, and you're gonna need a star bit and a power drill. Or you can use one power drill and, and turn and, and put the bits back and forth. You're gonna need a one and five eighths deck screw, star bit T25, a two inch deck screw, T25, and a three inch deck screw, T25. Let's get started. is to build the back of the chair. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my seven staves that make the back of the chair and I'm lining them up nice and neat like this. Maybe put the fattest stave in the middle, that usually works the best, and the super thin ones on the outside. You can kind of freestyle it and see what works best. And it should look like this. So you can come a little bit closer, but all I'm doing is I'm making the bottom part nice and straight. I want to make sure that these bottom pieces are 21 inches from the very left tip to the very right tip, 21 inches. And then I want to come all the way back up here to the top of the chair and I want to make sure that it's 15 inches from the very left to the right. If you can remember that 21 inches and 15 inches, you're gonna have no problem with the back. Next step, we're gonna take our cross piece here and start making the back. It's looking like that's coming in at three inches from the top to the first piece you're gonna screw in. Let's screw it in, who's fired up? Where's my drill? Okay, so now we're gonna take the counter, the pointer, we're gonna push. You know, maybe go over here. Okay, and then we're gonna take our one and five eighths star bit, like this, and like this, like this, and like this. Okay, and then we're gonna do it all through the middle. Always count and think before you screw it in. Come over here, Alyssa. We're gonna come here. Kinda make sure it's the same distance on the left and the right. That looks good. Here, here. Kinda spread these out nice and even. make these things in my sleep. Okay, this, and I'm gonna come like this. Okay, that looks good. And we'll attach this last piece in a minute. But before we do that, I wanna show you, and I want you to remember, uh-oh, look, I made an error. I need to make sure that you're keeping your eyes on this 21 inches. That's the secret. Okay, this and like this. Okay, so we got all four, all four, all four corners are now attached. Two down here and the two up here. Okay, let's screw in the rest of the pieces. Now we're gonna attach the middle piece to the back. I'm gonna go about four inches from here to here. It's four inches. It's gonna kind of center that from left to right. And then I'm just gonna countersink. Okay. It's nice and parallel here. And I'm gonna come in here. Push down. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
fastest in the West and the East, quite possibly the world. Barrel dreams. And there it is. There's your back. Step one is done. Look at that. Beautiful. Nap time and no time. You gotta sand this and clean it, but that's another day. There it is. Attaching this cross piece with the bunghole to the legs. Let's get started. Step one, I take my H legs here and I just do a mark of 10 inches. Ten inches, then I do ten inches, and I take my bung hole and I go right on the ten inch mark, right here. And I go one, two, three, four. Remember, I'm about an inch away from the end. You don't want to crack it. So go deep here. Okay, go deep all the way through. And then take your one and five eighths screw. Just put one in here. And I'm gonna go on the other side where I marked 10 inches. I'm gonna put the bunghole piece above that line. One, two, three, four. All the way through. Take my star, my one and five eighths. Then I'm gonna stand this thing up. And this is kind of what it's gonna look like. I wanna make sure this is 90 degrees right here. Nice and straight. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's complete the H piece. I'm gonna take the rest of the screws and go in the rest of the holes. Now we're gonna be taking this leg piece here and attaching it to the bunghole stage side cross piece there. Okay, so this piece is gonna go on to here. Let's get started. Remember, you're gonna take your diamond. See how it's a diamond right here? There is a left and a right piece. So I take my right diamond here, and I'm gonna put it just kinda like this, just kinda like that. I'm gonna center it. Okay, and then I want you to look at this measurement right here. You have to remember, 21.75 from the inside here to right here. 21.75 inches from the inside here to right here. You have to remember that or you're gonna be in trouble. Second thing I wanna show you here, is that you can see this is kind of at a diagonal angle. It's not straight up. The gangster lean, right? Looks better like that, Adirondack style. So I'm gonna take my pointer and I'm gonna go like this. I'll go, I'll go deep there, deep there, and then I go diagonal all the way through. And the reason why I do that is now I take my two inch star bit T25 and I go here and then I take my two inch and I go here but watch this then I take the only three inch that I need in this whole build is right here through the diagonal because it goes through this piece into this piece now this thing's locked in you're gonna do the same thing for the other side, right here. Go deep there. And remember, your pointer's going through the exact center. If you don't get it through the center, it's gonna crack. Take my two inch here. Two inch. Take my three inch. And there it is. 
legs on the H piece. Flip it upside down. Let's start the next step. Having fun yet? It's about to get even better. Let's put the seats on. A couple things. Our finger length is the distance between these five pieces. Okay? Let's get started. Remember, you're now gonna flip this thing upside down. So take your first piece, push it all the way up, equal distance on the left and the right where my fingers are, okay? You're gonna push it all the way up. It helps if you have two people doing this, but times are tough. So then I'm gonna take my one and five eighths and I'm squeezing hard right here. I'm squeezing so hard. Ah. Okay, see that? Then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna counter sink pretty deep. And take my one and five eighths. There it is. This thing's rock solid. Ugh, I can't move it. Nice and straight. Good job. Let's do it again. Take this piece. Remember about finger distance, looks nice. Countersink, countersink, one and five eighths, one and five eighths. Now you're gonna do that with all five pieces all the way to the end, almost to the end, okay? This is the last piece. Okay, everything is nice and strong. Try and break it, can't do it. Remember the secret number back here. You guys remember that, right? It was 21.75 from here to here, right? Okay, keep your eye on that. Now we're gonna be putting on these diagonal pieces right here to, to brace the H piece to the leg. Remember, there is a left and a right piece. Make the diamond. And you can start by putting this about an inch from the top. I go into it. Pretty deep. And then I take my two inch screw. Then I do a pointer down here. Take my two inch screw. Don't over drill it, it should be nice and flush. I'm gonna do it again up here. Pretty deep in that. Here. And then one last one down here. Two inch screw. Okay, this should be rock hard. You can try and break it, but you can't. So we have the base built. You should be able to stand on the base and have it be strong. You can jump a little bit if you want to. This is rock solid. We're gonna attach the back piece to the base now so that we can attach the last piece, which are the arms right here. So let's show you how to do that. Take your uh, base, then you take your arm to your back, kind of kick it in there, Hit it with the hammer, hard. 
and take a tire, because you know you all have spare tires, or, or your friend, or your lover, and give it a nice little like lean. I like to take naps in these chairs, so I kind of like it having a lean. You can practice sitting in it and seeing which lean you like. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, and get, your, get your lean going on. Then you're gonna take your arms. And you're gonna go right here for the last couple screws. Go team. Once you put the arms on, you gotta remember this number. Four inches from right here to the end. That's four inches. And then come inside here. This is a nice, clean point right here, okay? Remember the last part of listed down here? See the, see the point on the stave? That goes this way, okay? And then we're gonna take our pointer. And then we're gonna take our two inch deck screw and we're gonna screw it right in the center. Just like that. You have to get the screw through the center of the stain. If you don't do that, it's gonna split. Gonna come here into the back now. Two inch. Rock hard. We're going to do the same thing on the other side now. Last two screws. Flip the chair upside down like this. Make sure this is. Pop in nice and hard. Okay. Take a pointer and you're gonna go right here. Right here. One. That's it. Time to lounge. 